This is a 1972 Zenith model C6030W uses the 19cc19 chassis which is a 4-tube hybrid. It also features Space Command 500 remote control as can be seen here. 1972 is the year the Space Command 500 was introduced very similar to the Space Command 600 introduced in 1965 as shown right there. Now when they call it a four tube hybrid, that means it only has four tubes. The rest of the TV is completely solid state. And those four tubes comprise of the horizontal output, horizontal oscillator, vertical output, and damper. The back view. In fact, I got a four tube hybrid on the bench right now, putting in a new focus divider resistor. And those are your four tubes right there. You're looking at the TV, it's up on its side, but you can see the plug-in Dura modules. There's the Space Command 500 chassis, obviously another Space Command set. Here's a look at the underside of the chassis. This TV here is a 73 model. So this is the next generation from the one that uh, we're going to display. Let's uh, power it up here and we'll cycle through some channels over the air. Continuing coverage of the Red Line accident. Updates throughout this newscast and of course tomorrow morning beginning on the NBC5 News at 6 a.m. And to see more video and pictures as well as interviews or to share your images, log on to NBC5.com. Now to another big story in Chicago tonight, the weather. Some areas have seen rain, lightning, and heavy winds tonight. Let's go right to NBC5's chief meteorologist, Brent Miller, for the latest. Brent? Or well, things are getting very quiet right now. Here's our latest live Doppler 5 image. You see the live sweep of the beam here across uh, the city from our antenna site out at Neighborville. Showers continue to the south and east. All the watches and warnings have finished. What lies ahead for the weekend? I've got the details in our Weather Plus forecast coming up. Warner Allison, back to you. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Still ahead, Mayor Daly is angry, and he wants you to know why. The gun industry is bigger than America. They own it. Tonight, how the city is mobilizing to prevent another weekend of gun violence. Then Hillary Clinton comes to Northwest Indiana tonight with a new pitch for voters. And later, more and more people are eating probiotic foods. But are they really as healthy for you as their makers claim? The Civic Hybrid from Honda. Now everybody knows it uses very little of this. Former Once a Wife series premiere Wednesday at 8 on WGN. You guys are kidding me, right? No, I wouldn't kid you. Now, first thing women look at is shoot. Tells a lot about a dangerous precipice upon which we are now poised. You preached that sermon on the Sunday after 9 11, almost seven years ago, when people saw the sound bites from it this year. They thought you were blaming America. Did you somehow fail to communicate? The persons who've heard the entire sermon. <laughs> understand the communication perfectly. What is what is not the failure to communicate is when something is taken like a sound bite for a political purpose and put constantly over and over again, looped in the face of the public. That's not a failure to communicate. Those who are doing that are communicating exactly what they want to do, which is to paint me as some sort of fanatic, or as the learned journalist from the New York Times called me a wackadoodle, is to paint me as something, something's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with this country. There's nothing, it's, for, it's policies. Right. We're perfect. It extends well to the north and all the way back down into Texas. This is a real long cold front. Here's the top of the storm. Yeah, creating some snow in the Dakotas. So it's a pretty potent storm. And the cold air is going to filter in here as early as tomorrow. So expect some sunshine by the middle of the day, but the snow is not far behind. By late Saturday night, the clouds will be back. And Sunday, it's going to be wet. 
and even a possibility of snows in the forecast. We're not looking for a major snowstorm, but it's possible that cold rain and wet snow could combine during the day on Sunday. This weekend, it comes after Mayor Daley held a city hall summit on the spike on the spike in violence. The mayor called together police officials, social service agencies, and religious groups. He says parents and communities must step up and be held accountable. But he says his biggest frustration is the gun lobby. The gun industry owns this country, lock, stock, and barrel. They're bigger than their, I point out, you can't sue them. You can't write an editorial, you're afraid of it. It's amazing. Politicians are silent. Business leaders are silent. Wall Street is silent. It's silence in America because the gun industry is bigger than America. They own it. Last weekend, there were 36 shootings in Chicago. Police plan a show of force this weekend with more patrols, helicopters, SWAT officers, and gang units. In the Democratic race for president tonight, the candidates have their eyes on a new prize, Indiana. And there you have all the good things happening in Chicago there. By the way, just so you could see the inside of the control panel on this thing, that's what it looks like. So, and that's it.